Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean and seal stamped concrete. And this is part three of my three-part series where I show you how to form a curved stamped walkway and then how to pour and stamp the walkway. And now we're going to clean it and seal it. If, if you're new to this channel, if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. My channel's all about concrete stuff, so if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. And hit the little bell notification while you're right there, so you'll be updated when all my new videos come out. So what we're doing is, we stamped this co concrete walkway yesterday, actually. And we come back the next day, and now we got to wash off all the release agent, the powder that we put on the concrete to keep the stamps from sticking. And also the, the powder adds like a second antiquing color to the concrete. So we wash this off using a using a 3000 PSI pressure washer with a fan tip on it. And you can see Luke's there washing the concrete. And he doesn't get the tip too close to the concrete. He keeps it about 18 inches away. And that's going to help wash off that release powder. We need to wash the release powder off so the concrete sealer will bond. I'm going to show you later on in the video what we use for a sealer and how we seal it, so stay tuned for that. And you can see how that pressure washer is taking that release off. That release, you know, it, it sticks to the concrete pretty good. You gotta, you gotta get that off or you're, when you put your sealer on, your sealer will fail. Your sealer won't stick to the concrete, it'll just flake right off. So what we do first is we get we get 90% of that release agent off just using the pressure washer like this. And then what we do is we take a brush, you can see the brush is there, and we kind of scrub the surface. But we use we use a Dawn dish detergent. You can see we got a bucket there, and we put some Dawn dish detergent in there. Now we're gonna dump that on the surface and kind of scrub the surface almost like you know, almost like you'd wash your car with soap. We scrub the surface of this, and that Dawn dish detergent, it breaks down the release agent even more, so you can get most of that off. You know, you want to get about 90 to 95% of that release agent off. The only parts of that release agent that you want left on the concrete for the antiquing effect is the parts that are kind of down in the, the crevices of the stamped concrete, down in the grooves of the stamped concrete. The parts that actually got pressed right into the the paste of the concrete right into the surface when you were stamping. So we just dump that that solution on. I mean, we just squirt a little bit of Dawn in the bucket and fill the bucket up. There's no special amount you need to use. Just It just needs to be kind of soapy. And then we just lightly scrub all that extra release agent off. You can see how Luke's, you know, working his way down the, the walkway there with the pressure washer and I mean, it, that stuff doesn't just rinse right off. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort to do it right. And then, you know, to follow up with that, the scrubbing is the second part of that. You can see what I'm doing. I'm following Luke. I got a, I got one of those metal pins in my hand. And I'm just, I'm just going down and, and making sure all the grooves in the stamp concrete look really good. Sometimes when you stamp concrete and you press two of the stamps together, you'll get a little bit of paste. That, that sticks up between the grooves, so I'm just running that stake in the grooves and getting out any little bit of paste that's sticking up and doesn't look very good. You see I got the two girls there helping scrub the concrete. This was a summer job for them. One of them is my daughter, the one that has the USM on her shirt. And the other girl is her best friend. They worked all summer for us. They did a really good job. They didn't mind the work. Once we get this, once Luke gets uh, all that release agent rinsed off and then we get it scrubbed, you'll see he's going to go back and just rinse the residue off, rinse that soap off. And there'll actually be quite a bit more release agent that comes off with it. Leave me a comment down below in the section if you guys got any questions about this, you know, leave me some comments. I'll, I get back to my comments. Sometimes it takes me a day or two or a couple days. But if you got any questions down there, I'll answer them for you. And, and stay tuned. Coming up 
I'm going to show you just what we use for a sealer, how we seal it, um, to make sure this thing comes out looking really, really good. You can see we're finishing up scrubbing. Luke's coming right behind. He's getting all the soap residue off and any any parts of residual release agent that the scrubbing helped remove from the surface. He's rinsing that off too. And once we get this rinsed off, we're going to let it sit for at least 24 hours to dry out before we seal it. And I've had some comments before on projects, videos I've done about, you know, do you need to let the concrete dry for 30 days? Well, no, you don't. If you're using a, an acrylic solvent-based sealer, a breathable sealer, you can come back the next day and seal this stuff. I mean, the, the sealer is breathable, so it's going to allow moisture to, to pass through it and not make it fail and not turn it white. The problem with sealers and failing is when you get them on too thick, most of the time, you know, they'll they'll start peeling, they'll start turning yellow, they'll start fading, they'll, they'll start turning white. If you guys are getting value out of this video, go ahead down there and smash the like button now. It helps, it helps my, uh, it helps YouTube push it out to more people so more people can see this and learn about it. So here we are the next day. What well, first thing we do is we, we leaf blower any little dust or bugs or leaves or anything that might have got on the concrete since last time we washed it. So Darren's just taking the leaf blower, he's blowing off anything he sees on there that might not that might not want to be sealed on the surface. And usually if you come back the next day, the concrete's pretty darn clean still. You know, the wind the wind might have blown some dust on there from the dirt, but that's about it. And it comes right off with that leaf floor. And see, he's not walking on the concrete if he doesn't have to. So we'll get it all blown off and ready to seal. And then what we use... We use a, a solvent-based acrylic sealer right there from Foundation Armor, that AR350. That's the one I recommend. There'll be a link for that down in the description so you guys can, can get that or you can check it out. But that's the one I highly recommend for using on stamp concrete. You can use it on pavers too. You can use it on a bunch of other things. But this is the one we use. This is one that's worked well for us. And we use that stainless steel sprayer too. Because the solvents in those sealers, I mean, they'll they'll eat away a cheap sprayer, the seals on a cheap sprayer. So, I mean, you might be able to get one use out of them, but that solvent, that stainless steel sprayer, you can use over and over and over again. I've had that for a couple of years now. All you got to do is just clean it out after with either some acetone or some xylene, and you're ready to go for the next job. You can see how easy that is to seal. Luke's just spraying on a really light coat. There's a bunch of benefits of this sealer up there. I got made in the USA is one breathable ply with a roller or sprayer. Um, it's non-yellowing, UV resistant, reduces dusting and surface wear. It'll help protect against water, stains, and chemicals. And most importantly, against salt damage if you're in a freeze and thaw area. Yeah, you can see how easy that was to apply. And we let that dry for about 30 to 40 minutes and we come right back and put a second coat on first coat's going to sink in there pretty good the second coat you can you can put it on a little bit thicker we like to go about 300 to 400 square feet a gallon when we apply these and he's he's just spraying it on nice and light not making sure it doesn't puddle and getting on a really nice coat and that'll help darken the concrete a little bit it'll help bring out the colors in the concrete and if you think you need a third coat, I mean, you could put an, a third coat, a nice, really light third coat on if you if you think it needs it. Generally, we just put two coats on. This is a little front entry pad we did along with that walkway. You can see how light he's putting that first coat on. When, when you start putting sealers on too thick, that's when they start failing. That's when you start having problems. You're better off going really light and seeing what it looks like after you can see how much that dried up that first coat the second coat will help keep it darker it'll help keep it more uniform looking and then like i said if you think it's a little bit blotchy still and it needs one more really light coat you just spray on a third coat 
Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.